So once you've made a rough ball with your clay, then you're going to make a simple hole, a basic hole with your finger or thumb like this. We're now going to make the hole more complex by creating a ridge, pressing in, creating a channel with your fingers around the clay and smoothing it out. You might want to make the hole a little bit bigger, maybe make the hole a nice uneven so it's not just round. We want it to look a bit like an ear. So if you want to, you can put a um, little ridge inside it. So it's like more like an ear with different ridges and curved shapes. So. This is more like an ear. This is more of a, what I would call a complex hole. It's not just like you've stuck your finger in it. So I'm having mine a little bit like, look how delicately I'm just shaping it with one or two fingers. I'm not squishing it and trying to form the whole sculpture. Now, the reason why you need to make this more complex hole is to show that you have got control. There's no point in making the sculpture if you haven't got control when you're handling the clay. If you can't smoothen it out and shapen it carefully like this, your whole sculpture will look lumpy. Once you've made one complex hole, you then can make another one next to it. Try not to go too deeply into the clay because you're going to make holes all the way around and join them up the whole sculpture and you don't want to compromise the thickness of working into the clay from the other side. You can make some of the ridges sharp. You can drag your finger along the edge like this, but don't pull them out and make them too high at the moment. Keep it fairly shallow. Once you've made two holes, you can think about how you might want to connect them. You might want to make the shape a little bit more interesting, so I'm just bending it slightly to make it more rippling all the way around. And then once you have smoothed those out the best you think you can without leaving too many fingerprints. Try different fingers to see which is the best for making shapes. Now I can squish it to deform it. I'm now going to make another hole over here work my array way around the clay. If it starts drying out, then add some water to it as you're working on it. Not too much. There. You might find that the, the outside of the clay becomes very slippery, but the more you handle it, the more the clay will dry and absorb the water but don't add too much and it become too uh, slippery while you're working with it otherwise if it's too sticky then you can't shape the clay at all you might be tempted just to use the water to smoothen out the clay but don't do that because Although it does work temporarily, your clay will become too wet and it will become very gooey and you won't be able to shape it or work with it. It will just become like a mud pie.
Try not to make your channels straight. You want to bend and curve them so that the shapes have a kind of more flowing, rippling, natural form to them. Now the tricky thing is, once you've made one or two shapes and you've shown that you can control the clay and make it nice and smooth, is working around the clay, keeping it hydrated so it doesn't dry out with not too much water, but also not squashing the clay as you turn over and work on the other side. That's why you've got to hold it with your fingertips very carefully so that you're not squashing it. Don't worry about what shape the clay is going to be. Um, it will just evolve as you work on it. Just think about how smooth the shapes are and how they link and connect. So it still looks quite like a ball at the moment. Later on, I will exaggerate the shapes and open it out. <laughs> 